I was a first generation butcher. That's a good thing in some ways because you're not shackled by the past. So I started to question the way we did things almost immediately. And I went on a couple of courses in Switzerland and Holland and that really opened my eyes. The butcher could look more like a chef than a butcher with clean aprons and, and a tunic and, and all the rest of it. But this time we wanted to have other angles on, on the main product that we were selling. I sat down and I thought, well, we've got this product called meat. How many different ways can I sell it? You know, on the bone, off the bone, in a marinade. And then I was thinking, well, I can also sell it in a pie. I can also sell it in a filled roll. I can also sell it hot. And then that's when we started employing chefs as well as bakers. I think that's when the picture started to make some sense because the butcher has a great understanding of meat, whereas the chef has a great understanding of taste and flavour. We buy an awful lot of our meat on a local basis. The farms can be anywhere from a mile to 50 miles. Everybody then benefits from the field to the plate. The farmer benefits, the processors benefit, the butchers benefit in our case, the restaurants benefits, uh, ultimately the customer benefits in having wonderful local produce on their plates. And the amount of people that's employed throughout the whole food chain has a real benefit that everybody in the locality benefits from. But along the way, we came across a company called Dolans. And it was remarkable, really, the synergy that was between the two companies. Even though we'd, we'd never interacted, the values, the understanding of what we were trying to do were very similar. David and Robin uh, very kindly asked me would I be one of their suppliers. And yes, uh, we're proud to supply Dolans. We've always been proud to supply them and we're very much looking forward to being a supplier hopefully for many years to come.